Hello YouTube, this is Furno with another Minecraft video for you. Today I'm going to show you a really small but very flexible brewing stand. I have made another video with a rather large brewing stand where you just press a button and the brewing stand will select the right ingredients. It can brew up to 20 potions in parallel, so it's really fast and really powerful but also really complicated. And if you're starting a new survival world, maybe you just want a small, flexible brewing stand to just get you started. This one will serve. Behind me, you can see the item selectors for the common ingredients, especially the nether wart, which usually starts the potion, and the fermented spider eye, which can invert a potion. And then there are the modifiers. Redstone gives a longer potion. Glowstone gives a stronger potion. Um, gunpowder gives a splash potion and dragon breath gives a lingering potion. So let's give it a try. So what I want to brew is a splash potion of weakness 4. And for that I need nether wart. This is already selected. So lever up means it's selected, lever down means it's not selected. Then there is the special ingredient. So most potions have one ingredient that is not listed here, like golden carrot or sugar or puffer fish or magma cream. So just put it in here. You see it sits there in this hopper. We do need a fermented spider eye. We want a glowstone because we want a stronger potion and not a longer potion. We do want gunpowder because we want a splash potion. So everything is selected, everything is ready. Press the button and there we go. So what happens here, below these note blocks are droppers that will put the items into this hopper line here. So then they go into a small item elevator and then into a brewing stand. Eventually all ingredients get in here in the correct order. So the nether wart is already in brewing stand. The other ingredients wait here. Here on the side we have a supply of water bottles and in the bottom we have an output chest for the potions that are finished. On the side here, this is a small automatic brewing stand. I have described it in another video. I will put a link in the description so you can see how it's built. It's really easy and flexible and I think just from looking at it, you can probably build it. So it detects automatically if items are incoming, then it puts water bottles in the stand. Uh, once everything is, is brewed, then it will enable the output hopper to put out the bottles here in the output chest. So here in the back, we have an additional redstone line. And this is here to make sure that the items arrive in the correct order. So there is a problem if you have, even if the items are all in the correct order in a hopper line like this, it's not guaranteed that they arrive here in the dropper in the right order. And if they are too fast, then the dropper itself can randomize the item order because the dropper will fire the items in random order. So what we have here is a really small redstone circuit that makes sure that there's a small delay between the items. So what you can see here is a pulse extender and the pulse extender has an input of strength 10. So here we have a book that is on page 10 and this comparator will read strength 10 and it will output this strength in this block here if of course the strength is larger than what we get on the side. So and here we have the redstone torch that is uh, here linked to this button. So if we hit the button then this redstone signal will be off. This block will be powered um, it does power this redstone point here, so there should really should be a connection here because this block powers this redstone line. So it powers the pulse extender. And as soon as we add the redstone back in, we see that the pulse drops off from here to here. This hopper is released first, and then we have a four game tick delay, and then this hopper is released, another four game tick delay, and this hopper is released, and so on. And that means we have a reasonable delay between the items as they arrive here. This delay makes sure that the items arrive in the correct order. So by now the brewing stand could be finished, I think. Yeah, there we go. There is the splash potion of slowness 4 that we wanted. And the brewing stand is primed and ready for the next ingredients. The magic between the selection here, let's have a look at that. 
is that we here have a dropper that is powered by two inputs. So it, it is first powered by this redstone torch, which enables this redstone line. And it may also be powered by this lever here. So what happens if I press the button is that the upper redstone will be off, but of course the levers will still give a signal. So this dropper containing the dragon breath is not fired because it will be powered the whole time. But the other hoppers that are below there, as you can see, for example, this one with the gunpowder, this one will be off for a moment because this redstone signal is off. And then once the button ends, this redstone torch uh, is on again. And we have a signal here and this will cause the dropper to output an item. Yeah, as you can see, this is a really small but really useful brewing stand. I think it's quite sufficient if you are in your survival world. I will put links to my other videos in the description. Uh, the video that describes the uh, large brewing stand, also the video that describes the item order and this, this brewing unit. I have built this in Minecraft 1.17. I would expect that it works also in older Minecraft versions because all the te redstone technology that I use hasn't really changed in a while. It may even work in bedrock, although you may have to change a little bit, like the droppers are powered here. I'm not sure. So leave a comment if you have questions. Leave a comment if you want a block-by-block -block tutorial, how to build this. And of course, please do leave a comment if you want to see more videos like that. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.